Hey what's up guys and welcome to a brand new video on the channel today. Today guys we have episode number 7 of the Roma career mode in FC24. Thank you guys for the support on the previous videos as always. Um, as you can see on the screen we have Juventus in the first game of the episode and it also is creeping up to the January transfer window. As you can see last game of December and then we are moving into January so We've got a couple of games here. We've got a cup game, which we I don't know if we have a team yet <laughs> by the looks of it. We're going to try and get through the month of January. Uh, I won't finish the whole month of this in this episode because I do want to hear your suggestions for transfers in the January transfer window. If we look at the team, I mean, I'm not too sure. What, maybe a new right back, maybe a centre mid to add to the team or a left winger now, to be honest. A left winger probably is the main shout, I would say. So leave your suggestions in the comments below. Uh, it'd be greatly appreciated. Left wing, centre mid and a right back probably. And maybe a goalkeeper as well because Patricio is probably going to leave at the end of the season um, as he is getting on a bit. But make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you're new around here. And I appreciate the support once again. And we will jump into the first game against Juventus of the episode. Right then guys, first game of the episode at the Allianz Arena. Juventus against Roma. Let's see how we get on. Kaku now on the ball. Going to play it down the line to Dybala. He has a lot of space out on this wing. Can he go all the way? Going to cut it back. To Lukaku. Dybala. Bove. Cristante with the strike. And it's 1-0 to Roma. Cristante with the goal outside the box. What a finish from Cristante. Let's see the replay here. Ball played across. Dybala does lovely on the wing. Cuts it back. Cristante, I think that's the second time he's done that in this uh, series so far from outside the box. We now lead uh, Juventus 1-0. Here come Juventus now down the right-hand side. Can't make the tackle. It's Velovic and he scores. Poor defending from me down the wing. Uh, committed too much there. Velovic was in acres of space. And he puts it into the back of the net to make it 1-1. Pellegrini now. Aku. Selic making the run. Squares it to Pellegrini. Pellegrini, what a save from Chesney. Corner kick. Dybala with the corner. Not a bad ball, but no one's on the end of it. And we find Dybala again. Going to whip that one into Lukaku. No one's there. Pellegrini now. Mancini. Not really who you want it there. Pellegrini, can he get the shot away? It's a goal. Pellegrini with the finish. What a goal. From Manuel Pellegrini. It's a lovely goal. Lukaku does well to hold it up. Mancini um, originally passed it to Lukaku. And Pellegrini puts it into the back of the net. I mean, he didn't really get much on that, to be honest. It was kind of a, a tricky shot, but he manages to do so. And we find ourselves 2-1 up. Ball played down the line to Kostic. Going to have to try and stop this. Spinazzola does lovely. Bellotti now. And we hit them on the counter. Bellotti's going to go down the line. Going to need some options here. Bellotti's going to come inside. Stante to Pellegrini. Can he get the shot away? Pellegrini! With the goal to make it 3-1 to Roma. It's his second goal of the game. He is on fire today. And it is now 3-1 to Roma. Select now down to Dybala. Going to cut inside. He's done well. It's Dybala. Can he find edge of the box? Both with the strike. And it's wide. Back to Cristante. He turns. Plays in Dybala. He turns as well. Back to Bellotti. Back to Dybala. What a save again by Chesney. Maybe one last chance for Juventus. Jelic has done really well twice there. Lukaku bursting through. And Lukaku is through on goal. Bit of a tight angle, but we're going to go for it. Oh my god, Lukaku. And that is full time. What a win for Roma against Juventus, who are sat second in the table, I do believe. But that we're, we're now chasing them. Uh, so yeah, really good result. We're going to jump into the next game of the episode. As you can see, guys, on the screen, El Shawari is leaving as he did agree to leave the club. I mean, he, he, he wanted to leave. I don't really know why, because he was starting games. He said he wasn't getting enough game time or starting games. Well, see you later. 
El Shawari is leaving the team. And we will be getting a... I think it's around 10 million for him. Let's just go to the inbox and I'll show you guys quickly. Um, I'll just... Okay, so he's gone back, which is unfortunate. lorente has been recalled. El Shawari... No, it doesn't tell me the, um, the price for that. Anyway, we're going to move on into the next game of the episode. Just make sure to leave your suggestions on transfers in the comments below. And let's jump into the next game. Here come Atalanta now down the right-hand side. Ball's whipped in. Muriel, and it's saved by Patricio. An easy save for him. Ibala now on the ball. Going to travel down the left side. Play it inside to Lukaku. That's a lovely pass from Dybala. Lukaku, does he have the pace? Lukaku, Lukaku's in. And he scored. Top corner for Romelu Lukaku. It's another goal for him in Syria. And it's a great finish. Lovely bit of play from Dybala first to play the ball from the right-hand side. And Lukaku, I did think I actually missed that because I did hit it quite far into the um, side of the net. But nonetheless, we have scored. Lukaku gets the goal. And Roma are 1-0 up inside the first 15 minutes. Ball played through. Muriel now on the ball. And Chini does well to begin with, but loses out. Stante wins it back from Lukman now. Pellegrini on the attack. Can he find Lukaku? No. The ball's going to go back up the other way. With Zappa Costa now on the left wing. He's going to cut that back. Play it inside. Konate is going to miss the tackle. It's Lukman and he scores the goal to make it 1-1. Poor defending on my half. I committed with Konate and that's probably a bad decision. And it's a lovely finish from Lukman into the bottom corner to make it 1-1. Lotti now on the ball. Can he turn and play in Lukaku? Yes, he can. Lukaku's got acres of space to run into. Lukaku, lovely burst of pace. It's Romelu Lukaku. And he scored just before halftime. Lukaku gets his second goal of the game and Roma's second. Lovely burst of pace from Lukaku. And he has a great finish into the bottom corner. Just about went in again, but I'll take that all day of the week. Lukaku scores and it's now 2-1. Dante now on the ball. Belotti into Lukaku. Squares it to Pellegrini. It's a great save from the keeper. What? Reflexes there from the keeper. Corner from Dybala. Whipped in. No one can get there. Ball played down the line. No one's there. And it's Zappa Costa at the back post with the header. Oh, I don't know what happened there. The defender just didn't even seem to jump. And unfortunately, it's back to 2 2. Mancini wins the ball back. That's lovely from Mancini. Plays it into Dybala. Lukaku's made the run. It's a good touch from Lukaku. Lovely burst of pace near the end of the game. It's Lukaku. It's Lukaku. It's saved by the keeper. Right near the end. Dybala now with the corner. Ball whipped in. It's spin it solar. It's saved. Lukaku can't get the rebound. And we've still got the ball. Mancini now. Canate to Cristante. And he finds Lukaku. It's Lukaku. One last chance here. Ball's played right to the end of the pitch. It's a great tackle. The corner. Last chance. From the corner. We need to get this away. Out by Bellotti. Hopefully the ref is going to blow the whistle. Why is he not blowing the whistle? Clear it. And that, oh. we, had the, we had the game there to win. And unfortunately, we've blown it. But a point... Is shared. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. We're going to move into the next game of the episode. All right, guys, as you can see, obviously, it's the January transfer window. And Chris Smalling has asked to leave. He said he's not getting enough games in his career. I've only kind of really dropped him in the past couple of games. I haven't really, you know, I've, I've tried to rotate the team as much as possible, but he's clearly not happy. So it looks like we're going to be letting him go which is unfortunate which means he is now on the transfer list he's handed in a transfer request pretty much now we're going to get some offers here Juventus have offered wait hold on oh okay hold on 
swap deal. Smalling's worth 12 million. He is 34 and they've... Who's the exchange player? Hold on. 21-year-old centre mid. Now, he doesn't actually look that bad, but obviously I don't really want another centre mid. Um, let's negotiate that with Juventus because I want to kind of see what centre-backs they have. Danilo, I mean, they're all really old, aren't they, to be honest? What about if we do Regani? He's 29. How about we do that? And then just transfer fee. We won't even have one. Let me see Weyer. Oh, no, actually, hold on. That could be a good one because I need a new winger. Because, obviously, Bellotti isn't really a winger. And Dybala can play on the left. So I might actually accept this. I'm going to. I'm going to accept that. Timothy Weyer. Let's negotiate with him. Obviously, he's not going to be a starter, which is fine. He's 23. Uh, we'll give you a four-year deal. That's fine. Disregards that. Wages. Oh, I don't know how much he's on. Oh. He's 23. I don't know how much he's currently on. Let's just say 47. I, that's probably too much, but what do I know? An 130 signing bonus. Probably too much, but I don't mind. Timothy Ware is in the team. Smalling leaves. Let's just go quickly to the squad. I want to see what rating he is. He might be quite low, to be honest. He is a... Oh, he's not even there. Oh. Okay, maybe... I don't know, that's strange. Anyway, I'm trying to get this guy on... off on loan. Like, I've got three youth players which are really low rated, but I want to loan them. Oh yeah, perfect. There we go, accept that. Two year loan. That is perfect. That is fine with me. He goes out on loan, which is what we want to see. Smalling, what is this? Tottenham, oh wow, okay, I'll accept that. I'll happily take the money if Tottenham won him. Um, we're just going to advance to the next game, see if anything happens. Alexis, oh yeah, see this guy, he's 26. He's a free agent right now. And I need a left winger. So I am tempted. To look, he's got good stats. To offer him a contract. Why can't I? Wait, hold on. Do I have to go to the transfer list to do that? Let me just go to transfer hub. Ah, yeah. He can play left wing striker and left mid. I'm going to approach to sign him because I think this will be a good bit of business where we don't really have to spend any money. Squad roll. Rotation. Let's see what he says to that. Yeah, that's fine. Three-year contract is fine with me. No release clause. That's fine. Salary-wise. Recommend. 75,000 is a lot. Let's do 62. I'll add 100... 174 bonus, right? I'm going to try and go down to 60. Let's see what he says. Fair enough. New winger is at the club. As you can see, first day. Now, I think that's better than buying someone for like 30 plus million. He's 26, 80 rated, which is fairly decent. So, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. We're going to skip this now because we um, see that a lot. Free agent. I mean, zero pounds spent. I don't mind that. Let's see what they give me. An A. I mean, who wouldn't? He's, he's valued at 22 million. I could go and sell him now if I really wanted to, but we're not going to do that. Um, anyway, let's go into here. I don't need to do all that. Anyway, next game's against Milan. Uh, let's see how we get on. By Bala now on the ball. Going down the line. Can he find Lukaku? That's a nice ball. To Romelu Lukaku, he's going to square it to Pellegrini. Turns, Vega's there. Can he shoot? It's a goal. Vega on his debut has banged it into the top corner. What a finish from Vega. It's a lovely play from Roma. All started from Dybala down to Lukaku into Pellegrini. 
He had a lot of time through the legs into the top corner for his first goal for the club at the, at, in his first start for the game. Or in, in his first start or, uh, in this game. Uh, I completely said the wrong words there. Anyway, 1-0 up against Milan. It's a good start from us. Can we carry this on? Here come Milan straight away. Giroud now on the ball. Finisher. And we get the ball back. I don't mind it when they can just keep the ball here. It's fine. They're not doing anything with it. Ball's inside. Oh, Lukaku nearly got there. It's a lovely tackle from Pellegrini. We are through. Pellegrini now charging forward. Going to wait for Lukaku. It's Lukaku. It's a goal. I've already spoke too soon, but it doesn't matter because Lukaku scores the goal. To make it 2-0 already. These two have been on absolute fire for us in this series. I checked the stats just before. Pellegrini is the player with the most assists. Lukaku most goals. Uh, and yeah, tune it up inside 20 minutes of this game against Milan, who last time stuffed us 3-1. But here they come again. All played in. Mancini does well to defend. Here come Milan again. Down this left, uh, right-hand side. All played through. Oh, wow, that's lovely from Chuck Wazy. Canate misses the tackle. All played back. Still got the ball here. Can't get it away. Pressure is still on. He's gone for the power shot and it's gone through Patricio's hands. And it's now 2 1. What a goal that is, to be fair. But Patricio might have done better. But anyway, we see ourselves conceding, but it's still 2 1 to Roma. Oh, wow. Pellegrini's won the ball there. He's through on goal. No one's near him. It's Pellegrini and he scores to make it free. Pellegrini with a lovely interception from the centre circle. The defender, I don't know what he was thinking there. Pellegrini had no one near him all the time in the world. And he bangs it in to make it 3-1 to Roma. They come Milan now. Down the right. Good block from Mancini. Zola to Cristante. Pellegrini now out to Vega. Kaku now. Pellegrini's made the run. Pellegrini finds Vega. It's Vega with the shot and it's another goal for Vega. On his debut, what a goal that was. All the way from defence to attack. We've banged it into the top corner to surely see off this game. Lovely play and what a finish this was from Vega. Top corner once again. Two goals for him on his debut. You can't really ask for much more. It's now 3-1. Oh, it's 4-1, sorry. 4-1. <laughs> My bad. Here come Milan. Down the right. Venezuela can't win the ball back. The initial tackle. Mancini does well. He loses the ball, though. Conate misses the tackle. And Patricio doesn't save it. Pulisic gets another goal back for Milan. It's now 4-2. It's a good finish from him, but we should have done better with the defending and the keeper. Questions asked of him, but... It's 4-2. We should really just keep the ball and see off this game. Here comes Fio Hernandez now all the way down the left. He whips it in. Giroud's there. He's missed it. Patricio has to punch. It's not cleared yet. Mancini wins the header. And it's game over. Let's go. What a win that is for us. I think we do move up to, a, I think, fourth in the table or third in the table after that win. Vega with a great debut. You can't really ask for more. Two goals in a 4-2 win. We're going to move on into the next game of the episode. All right then, guys. Next game is against Hellas Verona. We are going to simulate this game. Uh, they're on a really bad run of games. And they are currently sat 17th in the league. But look, that is why we've decided to simulate this game. Um, Smalling has left. He actually went to Spurs instead of Juventus. So we don't get... Um, where we get money instead, which I don't mind doing. We've got a lot of money in the bank, so now we need to look for a new centre-back. Uh, ideally, probably a backup centre-back, because obviously Canate is playing there with Mancini, and they've both been playing fairly well. Um, so we could we could really look at that. Uh, yellow card for Mancini, dismiss that. Yeah, a couple of changes in the team. I brought in Zielinski uh, or Dybala, giving Dybala a rest. Uh, we've also brought in... 
Christensen for Venezuela to give him a rest. And Cristante and both, we've uh, given them a rest. So Sanchez and Paredes come in. So not much is going on here. A couple of yellow cards, which is a bit annoying for us in the first 25 minutes. All played through. Wow, not doing much with that. So yeah, we need to kind of make some signings. The squad depth is actually quite poor, to be honest. I didn't realize how low it was. So we're going to have to um, reassess what areas we need to change and upgrade. Well, not even upgrade, just add to the team. Obviously, we'll see what we can do before uh, the window shuts. Obviously, make sure to leave your suggestions in the comments down below. That's a good save from Patricio. Ball whipped in. It's a good clearance. We haven't got the ball fully away. Back out. Ball whipped in. Oh, it's another corner. Not really a good half, to be honest. Ball played in. Why? Oh, no. We've got the ball back. And it's half time. I'm going to carry on straight away. And yeah, let me know in the comments if you're enjoying this series. I actually am having a lot of fun with it because, you know, it's a new game. Getting used to playing the AI on Legendary at the moment because Ultimate's just too hard. I need to learn the how the AI plays completely before I change up a level. So we're losing games, winning games, drawing games. So it's actually quite enjoyable. And Lukaku has made it 1-0 for Roma in the 54th minute. Big goal to score from Lukaku there. As we now move into the last half hour of the game, we come Verona. That's a good save from Patricio, who I'm going to probably let go on a free at the end of the season because his contract is up and he's like 35, 36 now. And he's only going down in ratings, which is kind of a bit pointless starting him every game. So we're going to probably look to just let him go. And then we're going to reassess, like I said before. I want to get younger players in the squad, I think, and start using them to be starters and better for us in the years to come. Obviously, I, I plan on doing at least two seasons, three seasons of this Roma save, so it's going to be a fairly long one for the start of the first save of the, the new FIFA. So we'll see how we get on with that. Team management, let me just make some subs because bring Belotti on. Um... Who else can I bring on? I'll bring Awar on for Vega, who's on a yellow. Sanchez can come off for Cristante. And I will leave it at that. And let's see the counter-attack here. thought we were going to go through a goal with Lukaku there, but we didn't. Oh, no, not now. Got the ball back. Any movements here, Pellegrini? Who's been probably... It's between Pellegrini, Lukaku, and I'd probably say... Mancini for the player of the season so far. Probably going to go more with Pellegrini, but we've managed to get a 1-0 win there at home. Can't really complain with that. So we're going to move on into the final game of the episode. We can see, guys, Karsdorp, transfer offer. He's asked to leave because he wants more game time. I'm going to accept 12 million from Napoli. Again, I, I just don't get why... I do rotate as much as I can, but if, if the team's playing well, I don't really rotate as much. But that's another player that is off, most likely. And um, we're going to advance now. As you can see, last game of this episode is going to be in the the Coppa Italia. So uh, that's not what I want. I want to go central and no, I want to go office and see the calendar. So we've got the cup game. Then we're going to have um, Salernitana. For the last game of the episode, uh, so the next episode, sorry, and then the January transfer window is going to come to a close. We've got a lot about 55 million to spend. Well, it's going to be about 60 million, 65 million after we sell Carsdorp. So, we've got a lot to play with. So, we're going to jump into the last game of the episode now and we'll see how we get on. <clears throat> Vega now on the ball, going to play inside to Pellegrini, back out to Vega. Into Pellegrini. Can he get the shot away? Pellegrini with the save. I mean, the keeper made the save. It's twice I've done that this episode. Pellegrini whips it in. Dybala can't get on the end of it. Nate has to trap back here. Misses the tackle. Delic should be able to get that. Now we've got some time on the ball. Spin it all up. Dante out wide. Konate. 
into Pellegrini. Pellegrini goes for the shot and it's saved by the keeper. By Barla now with the corner. Good ball in. Lukaku's there. Can't get on the end of it. Nate wins the ball. That's a great tackle. Pellegrini now. Stante to Lukaku. Has to wait for some support. He plays the ball into Vega. Vega now. Going to go through on goal. Can he shoot? And it's saved by the keeper. Here come Udinese. The ball's played through. Patricio misses it. And they score to make it 1-0. In the Coppa Italia. It's round of 16. Poor defending from us. And we see ourselves 1-0 down. Ibala now. Pellegrini, he finds Lukaku. It's Romelu Lukaku. He's going to cut inside. He can't shoot. Can he get the goal? Lukaku can't finish it. Dante to Bo into Pellegrini now. Lukaku's there. Lukaku with a strike. It's a great save from the keeper. It goes out for a corner. Pellegrini with the delivery. Not a great cross, but Lukaku's there. Oh my god, what a save. What a save from the keeper. Pellegrini again. Ibala is can't win the header. Bove is going to get the ball. Going to run it down the line. Ibala's there. Ibala with the strike and it's blocked. Belotti. One last chance. It's Belotti. Pellegrini. No. And that's probably going to be game. It's game over. No. I can't believe it. Oh, that's so frustrating. Oh, I can't believe it. Anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of the episode. Unfortunately, we do get knocked out of the cup to end the episode off. We had the chances, but to be honest, we, we were terrible in that game. Make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts and opinions on the video, and subscribe if you're new around here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!